as someone that was pretty careless when it came to sun protection in their youth, brightening my hyperpigmentation is definitely among the top skincare concerns. Call your product brightening and I'm easily convinced to give it a go. Case in point, the Inkylist Sim Bright Moisturizer that I'm going to review for you today. But what is Sim Bright? And does the texture and effect convince me? Let's talk. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. A silky daily moisturizer formulated to brighten and improve the appearance of uneven skin tone while optimizing skin's moisture and hydration levels. The cream feels like a thicker lotion, is white and has no noticeable scent. What is interesting is that the tube is firmer than other the Inkylist tubes I have tried. According to the website, it is suitable for use both morning and night and goes on either as last steps in the evening or before sunscreen in the mornings. I rarely use a moisturizer in the mornings, but found that even at night the texture was strange on my normal to oily skin. That came as a surprise that it felt much more lightweight straight out of the tube but after application I could feel it sitting on my skin for quite a while, almost like a film, but not a greasy one. The finish is very natural with no added dewiness, which I personally like a lot. Now first, Simbrite. Simbrite is an ingredient produced by fermenting clary sage. It goes by the inky name of Sclariolide and, according to the manufacturer, offers broad light spectrum protection, significant lightening effects and skin soothing benefits. Mind you, despite claiming broad light spectrum protection, it is not a sunscreen filter and has never been tested as such. As it is always the case with manufacturer claims, I would take them with a lot of skepticism. So what else is there? Glycerin as a humectant, a few emollients and then Canna Ficus Alvarezii extract, which again, according to the manufacturer, helps again the shortening of telomeres, which is responsible for cell aging and cell death, as well as Terminalia Ferdinandia fruit extract or kakadu plum extract, offering antioxidant benefits and vitamin C. To be honest, I am pretty underwhelmed by this combination, as I would have hoped for something with well more substantial brightening claims and not a mixture of extracts that make bold claims but haven't made their mark yet. You might have guessed it already, I will surely not repurchase and won't add it to my list of products I recommend either. It might work better for skin drier than mine, but I don't think it will be enough on its own then. And to brighten the skin, there are other products I would go for instead. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!